Hey, welcome to another Big Acre Fishing video. My name is Colin, and uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, um, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, please make sure that you hit that notification bell so any new videos I post, you'll see those come up. Please give this video a thumbs up. Probably do some trolling. Um, if we get on any fish, maybe I'll try to do some jigging. That'd be nice. I didn't bring the cooler, which I probably should have because it'd be nice to keep one more fish if I got a good keeper size, but whatever. We'll just go out there for fun, see what we can get, see if we can make a video. Um, and uh, I think we're going to be catching the, uh, actually the tide's going to be dead low and hopefully we'll be catching the incoming tide. So um, hopefully we'll, we'll, like I said, see what we get, troll around with um, the GI jigs and uh, the Elias V swim shads most like most of the time. And then like I said, if I can get on any fish or see any schools or fish busting or birds working, um, try to get out the, uh, you know, try to get out the uh, jigging rod and uh, lure and see if we can catch anything with that. All right. So thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, and again, leave a comment. All right. Big Yagger out. So we've got a fish on them finally, huh? Don't know how big it's going to be. It doesn't feel too big and I'm actually pulling it along. So I really didn't feel that big, but something. First one of the day. First one of the day. I'm trying to stay away from my other line if I can help it. Small fish. What's it doing down there? I don't know why it's going this side. Gonzo. All right, so. Ugh. All right, so same size jig heads, right? And then uh, we've got the same size jig heads and the same size swim shads here, or uh, paddle tails, right? Same size, so let's see which color they prefer. So far, this is winning one nothing. Uh, we'll compare for quantity, uh, which one gets more. And then we'll compare for quality, uh, which one gets more as far as the biggest fish. Go! What I've learned over the years, man. Follow the birds, even if they're not working and they're sitting, just go above them and see what happens or go where they are. Usually stuff hanging underneath them. Oh, there's another one on the, on the, on the silver, silver and white. Very small though, it feels like. sideways here so wrestling with my uh, lure here wrestling with the lure here all right well there's another one the silver it's all right though it's a little something right another small one but that's two at least on there right all right this one maybe a little bit more quality Although the drag was a little bit loose, but uh, I don't cross my line. I hate this trolling. I worry about these crossing lines. I think we're good. I think we're under it. 
I think we're under it. We're not, we're over it. Ah, we're over it. And that one's stuck on something it looks like. Oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. I think we might have saved it. At least it saved the fish off the line. Well, the fish is definitely away from us here. Away from. Might actually even be a keeper, to be honest. Good hook set. Oh yeah, it's a keeper, but I'm not gonna be able to keep it today because I don't have anything to put it in. That stinks. That's a good quality fish right there. I'll just get a measure. I can get a little measure. Oh, that's 23. That's 23. That's not a bad quality. There's 23 in the boat. Oh, another one on already. Nice. Go through that same school. All right. It's definitely over there. School over there. Quantity. Oh my goodness. This gray one's picking up some babies, huh? This silver one picks up some babies. I mean, this is probably the biggest one for the this lure so far, but a little baby. Another one. That's a fish. It's huge. Oh my God, it's gonna be a good sized fish right here. Holy crap! Oh my goodness! That's a fish. That's a good sized fish. That is, but it's a good sized fish. Whatever it is. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. This is probably the heaviest one of the day right now. Goodness. This is gonna cause a mess in the kayak, that's for sure. Oh man, monster. 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 Oh my god, I'm gonna break all my rods in the meantime. Oh that's a monster. fish now that my friends is a good size fish that is such a good size fish let's see what this measures in at holy cannoli it's no joke I don't know this might be close to that one that I kept that other day I don't think it has the girth but it definitely has the length all right what do we got Oh, 28, same as last time, right? Actually, a little past 28. A little past 28. Still a good fish, though. That was nice. Nice fish, baby. Let's see if we can get you out of here. All right. There's two keepers today, 28 and 23. Pretty sick, man. Pretty sick. 
think 28 is my personal best in the bay. Uh, I don't think I've caught anything bigger than 28 in the bay. So that's my PB for the actual bay. But uh, yeah, I think that's about right. And a buddy of mine, uh, Matt, told me about um, when you're trolling, like the optimal speeds, like between three, usually 3.5 to, uh, especially for striped bass, really, but uh, 3.5 to 4, I think, or something like that, or 3.5 to 4.5 miles an hour. So this is kind of what has been happening with the big, bigger fish, anyway. Um, I've been doing the, you know, almost 3.5 here, and it's been pretty consistent. So you know, it's good to listen to folks that you uh, met around, you know, around and have been fishing a lot longer than you and listen to what they have to say because like i said um you know once you get up to that speed and i'm going with the current too so that may be helping that's definitely helping with the speed but uh as far as helping with catching fish i'm not sure but who knows but like i said listen to folks be open to what they have to say when it comes to you know fishing techniques and you know like trolling in this case so good stuff There we go. Like clockwork. Ooh, this will feel like a bigger one here. On this rod, yeah, that feels bigger. This one in quick. Bigger rod. Not gonna spool me, that's good. I'm trying to get away from my other rods. Man, this is multitasking at its finest right now. As I was saying though, you get the big I'm getting the bigger quality fish. It's a little bit better. Still not big for what I've been getting. But you're getting the bigger quality fish when you're going with the current. Uh, uh, not much bigger. Yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna have to go in further this time. Oh, there we go. Fish on again. In the same area. I was Mark a few. I'm actually gonna catch this. I'm gonna go in further because this is gonna be moving closer to shore, maybe. It's probably the smallest one I've caught on this thing. on this one so far all right well, that made it a lot easier <laughs> nice little schoolie unharmed all right on your way buddy all right oh good size fish here I caught this one on the swim bait I switched up and I stopped actually and I was just coasting with this one because I had my uh Someone's on my drive. I don't even know if these hooks are gonna hold. This is like a, I think a lure I found. It's a good sized fish though. It's pulling pretty hard. Oh man, another good one. Good sized fish. Another one. What the heck is this? It's trolling on top of the water. The small one or I snagged him or something. Hanging out right on top. Looks like I snagged him. No, he ate it.
He ate it. And he spit it. Ah, broke a hook. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, pretty productive day in the water, actually. Uh, had to do a lot of trolling, so I got my exercise in, but also just broke my drive, I think. So I've, I'd still be out there now, because I think the fishing is going to start to heat back up again. It cooled off a little bit when the wind picked up, um, and I couldn't go into the tide, so I kept snagging the bottom. But um, I got I got the 28 inch, I got another 23 inch, and then on the way in, I caught another at least 21, 22, maybe bigger. Um, it broke off at the boat, as you saw. But it was a pretty good sized fish on that lure, which I found a long time ago. So, you know, no harm there. I think the lure ended up breaking. We lost the hooks on it, but whatever. Uh, good day of fishing. The only, the horrible thing is uh, something happened to my drive, uh, the pedal drive. So I think it's the spine and it looks like it's really going to either take a lot to fix it or I'm going to have to get a whole new drive, which I should have a backup one any pro anyway, probably. So, um, like I said, if you're interested in buying the hats, this is a perfect time. Um, you know, any, like I said, fishing gear that I need to buy or anything like that, that's what the hats are for. So, um, that's why I'm selling the hats to, to make some money off of that, to, to buy new stuff for the, for the kayak and to support the channel. So thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So any um, time I post any more new content, uh, you'll see that. Um, not sure where I'm going out next. Uh, I'm trying to get up to New York actually in a week or two to catch some blackfish. Um, so, or totog, I think they're called. So we're going to try to get on some of those. If my drive's working by then, um, we'll see what happens or if I get a new drive by then. So thanks for watching. Uh, Big Gacker out.